50 Cent recently trolled Keith Sweat. In a couple of weeks, 50 Cent will host his Humor and Harmony weekend in Shreveport, Louisiana. The event has been boasting several fellow celebrity guests, including Keith Sweat. Recently, however, Fifth took to Instagram to reveal that Sweat offered to attend the event virtually via Zoom instead of in person. He wasn't feeling that at all and called Sweat out for tripping. Yo. What up? What's up? What happened? Yeah, this nigga's key sweat is tripping, man. He said, no, man, I just, he nah. got some real issues with you right now, bro. You can talk about he not gonna come to the Human Harmony thing. He gonna do the, the show from his bedroom on Zoom. Yeah, he, on Zoom. He's doing the show on Zoom from his bedroom. Because you're not, you're not coming to the... Because uh, I can't make it... Cause I can't make it to him getting key to the city. Tell that motherfucker I said they took Diddy's key to the city. Eric Adams took their, Diddy's key to the city and giving it to Key Sweat. And now he acting like, cause I can't make it. I'm not gonna be, I can't be there on the third, man. <laughs> that nigga's crazy, yo. <laughs> These RB niggas is crazy, crazy. Huh? What's the matter? So let me ask you something, right? So, so he, he, uh, I gotta call him directly. When you, when you spoke to him, I just talked to him yesterday. Yesterday. He gonna he gonna. I talked to him yesterday. He said, "What's up, man? Is uh, is fifth coming to the um the uh the meeting? I'm getting the, the ceremony. I'm getting the key to the city. I said he can't be there because we got the whole street tour shit going, and they got that shit going. And he just gonna see you when you get the street tour. Uh -huh. He said, "What?" Nigga, I ain't coming to street tour again. Tell that nigga. <laughs> Yo, and okay. He'll do two songs. He'll do two so, songs. so don't nobody know. Don't nobody know what he said, though, right? Nobody knows what he said. All right, I'm gonna fix that right now. I'm gonna fix that right now. According to him, Sweat's hesitation in attending in person stems from the fact that he won't be attending an important event for him in a couple days of his own. On August the third, Keith Sweat is scheduled to accept. The entertainer's key to the city. Previously, Diddy held the key to the city, but it was revoked after footage of Saul and Cassie surfaced online. The ninja Keith Sweat is tripping 50 Cent caption a post. Man, he getting the key to the city on August the 3rd. They blocking off the streets of Harlem for him. And now he don't want to show up in Shreveport? What? Man, we ain't effing with him no more. This prompted a response from Sweat who took the opportunity to look back on Fifth's 1999 track, How to Rob, in which he jokes about robbing Keith Sweat. Hey, Fifth, man, I gotta respond to you. I'm definitely not coming to Shreveport now, he wrote. I just remember you said this about me back in the day. I'll see y'all in New York on August the 3rd when I get the key to the city. You need to be there with me. Everything is squashed. Sweat also added. Shortly after, 50 Cent replied demanding that Sweat attend the event. Oh, no, 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 no. I was tripping when I wrote that. Yo, A better be there in Shreveport. We need that grown and sexy-ish. Stop playing. Get your A on that jet, bruh. We need you there. Pretty V denies disrespecting Sonya Massey after Soldier Boy's V Simone rant. Let's dive in. According to Pretty V, her words are being taken out of context. Earlier this week, Soldier Boy took the Instagram live to clap back at B. Simone, who made some playfully shady comments about the rapper on her Let's Try This Again podcast. He didn't hold anything back at all, blasting Simone's appearance, her career, and more. This prompted a response from both Simone and Pretty V, who defended her friend. Don't play with me, Soldier Boy. You better play with them ones like this, but not at B. Simone. Again, she said, what she said, now what? She wrote in the Shade Room's comment section, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, you living creature. While most don't blame Pretty V for sticking up for a friend, some called out her choice of words. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus were the final words of Sonya Massey, a 36-year-old black woman who was murdered in Springfield, Illinois earlier this month. Social media users accused Pretty V of disrespecting Massey in her response, according to her. 
However, in her response, according to her, however, this was the last thing she meant to do. She took the Instagram recently to address the backlash, claiming that those criticizing her for her choice of words are taking them way out of context, that she never intended to offend anyone. This sparked another response from B. Simone, who thanked Pretty V for standing up for her. B, I love you. Thank you for having my back. You have the purest heart, girl, and I know what you meant by what you said. Ben understands, and I would never, ever, like I said, disrespect anybody, um, especially Miss. Some Again, you disrespect somebody, you call them out their name. That's a demon. I don't care. That's a spirit that needs help, and that's what it is for me. I don't need to come on here and talk about it no more. Um, anywho, I love y'all so much. Whoever get it, get it. Whoever get it and understand. And again, if I was definitely, and if you guys taking it out of content that that, that wasn't for sh for whatever you guys are thinking about, for sure. I understand and I understand the sensitivity around that. And I would never, ever, ever disrespect Miss Anya. I really and truly, sincerely, sincerely mean that. Got on my heart. I would not do that. Y'all know what I meant. I know exactly what I meant. And I did not mean to that moment to do whatever it was doing. But anywho, like I said, I, I, I know what I meant. I don't have to come on here and just keep dragging it. But at the end of the day, I love you guys so much. And love y'all. Then why say what? What are you talking about? Again. This is somebody who was bullied by somebody on live, on Shade Room. Why would I not pick up for my friend? Why would I not say that you need to be rebuked? That's, we say that in church. We say that every day. Why are y'all acting weird right now? Why are y'all acting like somebody can't say that word? I know the times we're living in. I get it. I understand it. But you have somebody who disrespected someone that you guys love. And you guys are telling me that I can't speak my mind and tell this person that he's a living creature and he needs to be rebuked? Oh, y'all could go sit down somewhere. But like I said, I wasn't trying to be sensitive, unsensitive at all because I know the times that we live in. And I don't play with, if y'all know me, I don't play with God. I don't play with someone who passes away off of a cop being, you know, whatever. You know, I, I don't play those games. Y'all know exactly what I meant in those comments. He has a demon. He is on demon time. Stop playing with me like I, I was trying to be funny on something else because I was not. Don't do that to me at all. So y'all have a good day. Okay. Bye. Recently, Cardi B decided to close out a studio session with some late night chicken wings, which unfortunately left a lot to be desired. She took to social media to reveal that she had tried some Popeye's honey lemon pepper flavor wings but it wasn't all that she expected. She rated the flavor a measly two out of 10. And according to her, the wings tasted like Sprite and were far more sweet than she would have liked. But fortunately, it looks like Popeyes took Cardi B's criticism in stride. The chicken chain's official X account invited her to test their chicken in their test kitchen. Okay, that's what's up. In hopes of collaborating on some new wing flavor. Party gang, we need your help. Legal won't let us tag her. But since y'all girl has some thoughts on our honey lemon pepper wings, we'd love to have her come through the test kitchen to collab on some wing flavors. Y'all do your thing, they wrote. Word must have gotten back to Cardi right away, like instantly, as she hopped online shortly after to respond. Free wings? Where y'all at? Come pick me up, she said. Clearly, the rapper is highly interested in taking them up on their offer. That's the bag. Of course, fans would be equally enthusiastic to try out Cardi B approved wings. Though it's unclear whether or not they have any official plans to collaborate yet. Yeah, but once they get that business right and get that check thrown her way, oh, she'll be, oh, these are the hottest, greatest wings in the world. It wouldn't be Popeye's first time working alongside a rapper, however. Back in 2021, they teamed up with Megan Thee Stallion for the hottie sauce and an anime inspired merch collection. Either way, it looks like Popeyes fumbling their honey lemon pepper flavor actually ended up working out in their favor. But what do you think about Popeyes inviting Cardi B? Hey man, Cardi B got almost 200 million, however many, she got hundreds of millions of followers on her social media pages. So that's smart business on Popeyes part. 
like we always do about this time. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned to Urban Culture. Like, share, and subscribe for all the latest updates on this unfolding saga and more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.